time flies over us but leaves its shadow behind today i am turning 23 and i would like to share 23 things that i have learned in these 23 years of my life i think i'm sounding a bit too old while filming this video but anyways let's do it so the first thing that i would like to share is stay committed to your decisions but flexible in your approach this is one of my favorites actually uh, all of these are my favorites but this one i have experienced a lot of times personally um there are many a times that uh, we decide upon certain goals or uh, certain decisions that we can't entirely rely upon there are, there may be many situations where uh, we might fail to accomplish the goal that we decided for ourselves uh, in such situations i am lucky enough to have uh, supportive people around me who have always um, you know um, motivated me or uh, supported me to try, give it one more try in a different manner or you know by changing some other things some uh, you know making slight differences in my approach so the thing is not to change your goal just because you couldn't accomplish it in one approach you should try different approach maybe um, by making a little small tweaks here and there i'm sure you'll uh, succeed most of the times the second one is know your priorities I wish I knew this a little earlier because um, our time is limited our attention span is limited but our uh, imagination our uh, desires our aspirations are endless we usually like to do many things we like to accomplish many things in a given uh, limited amount of time which is definitely not possible it's difficult to you know try and do everything it's very important that we know our priorities and you know schedule accordingly we can't accomplish everything the time is very limited and we need to understand that where uh, we'll get more return of investment in our time you know we need to balance things out accordingly many a times we get certain situations where we have to choose between the two and it becomes very hard so in such situations we need to know our priorities and uh, that will help us make the decision a lot more easier next point is the one which everyone needs to know that is nobody values you more than you value yourself most most of us we uh, usually undervalue ourselves we undermine ourselves we undermine our capabilities but the truth is you are much more than you think you are while uh, reading many books about law of attraction uh, during the lockdown i figured out one thing that we attract what we are so the more good things the more value we give to ourselves we attract the same from others so if we don't value ourselves if we think negative things about ourselves then others are inevitably going to think the same giving value to yourself doesn't just mean that you will have to boast about yourself or you know just uh, exaggerate the things about yourself but it just means that uh, appreciate the efforts you are taking appreciate the things that uh, you are doing say a few good words to yourself um, and that will probably do the job for you the next one is if you really want to do something then your mind will find ways to accomplish it if you don't then you'll find excuses and uh, i can't stress on how accurate it is let me give a small example to say this if i have a weekend i usually make certain plans of studies during the weekend um and uh, many of the times i fail in you know keeping up the targets i'll just procrastinate and you know say that it's a weekend so okay i can chill and uh, i'll get away with it but when i have the same weekend and a test on monday then i i'm most probably going to succeed in studying what and all i have set a target for so i'll say, uh, actually accomplish the targets when i have a test so it just means that um, there is nothing that you can't do it's just that you are convincing your mind that it's okay you are giving excuses to your mind that it's okay not to do things because you don't actually want to do it if you really want to do it then definitely you'll find some way or the other to do it the next one is learn to embrace the unexpected well um, this may sound a little deep or there are many situations in our everyday life where uh, certain events which are unexpected they may occur and we don't know how to react to it we start cribbing about uh, how did this happen or uh, why did this happen and we lose our uh, the cool of our mind so the thing is uh, there the unexpected things are bound to happen we have no control over the things that happen what we can control is how we react to it so we should learn to embrace the unexpected and react accordingly the next point is 
success or results don't depend on uh, what you do one day it's actually a result a cumulative effect of all your long term efforts this is so true we always think that um, you know a certain person xyz got uh, success overnight there's no, no such thing as overnight success only the person who is in that situation knows that how much hard they have worked for the um, you know fruits of success that they have received today it's easy to stand uh, and comment that uh, that person got overnight success but um, yeah even overnight success um, you know requires a lot of hard work a lot of uh, sleepless nights a lot of sacrifices and then only they get with the so called overnight success the next thing is true friendship doesn't require frequent meetups or long calls in frequent duration it stays no matter what and um, yeah i have faced this personally that uh, sometimes due to some other other reason um, i'm not able to catch up with my friends uh, school friends or um, you know um my college friends but when we meet after even after a long time we catch up as if we have never lost touch so yeah true friendship stays no matter what the next one is we don't value enough of what we already have this one is really deep because um, um i have a little personal story for this i began my mbbs journey on uh, 14th august 2019 i still remember the date and uh, just before i started my mbbs on 31st july i lost my grandmother until then i had never really seen what it meant to lose a person uh, you know such a close relative of yours uh, so after uh, i lost her i really understood that um, how often we you know don't value the things that we have um, it was a really life changing experience for me even today i really miss her and uh, i wish that i could uh, give her more value when she was there with me when she spent her time with me i wish i could change a few things but yeah that's not going to happen I came across this in one of uh, ankur varikus videos it is that you'll have to walk some of your uh, paths alone because no one else has your goals during our school and colleges uh, we have this herd mentality we always uh, are in a group we don't know how to um, actually stay individually how to actually accomplish things individually we are so used to staying in a group um, you know accomplishing our goals together as a group then later on as we move on in our lives our goals change our priorities change so we have to walk some paths alone we are not used to it but the thing is we have to get used to it because nobody else is going to come along with us we can't say that uh, my friend is not um, you know having the same goal as mine so i'll change my goal that's definitely not going to happen so we need to adjust to we need to adapt to walking or traversing a path alone has they say in this famous poem the road not taken the next point is no one is coming to save you your life is your responsibility we have always been shielded by our parents from all the negative experiences from all the negative uh, uh, events uh, and uh, we are of this opinion that there are there's always someone who protect who will protect us who will uh, you know care for us who will uh, take care of us in every step of our life but there's nobody like that even if our parents are there but we need to learn to you know take our own responsibility to be accountable for the actions that we take undertake it's our life and ultimately we'll face the consequences of our actions so we need to take each and every action accordingly and you know be responsible the next point is a pro is an amateur who showed up every day okay this point can apply in a whole lot of different situations um we often uh, hesitate to start things to start new things by the fear that we are not good at it so how will we you know even uh, show up and uh, we think that once we are perfect once we are uh, you know all set then we'll uh, you know try this thing out in my case i wanted to start a youtube channel from uh, my school days um there back then i didn't know what this is all about but i loved talking to the camera because i'm an introvert person and i uh, find it difficult talking in front of a group of people so i found it uh, fun to talk to the camera to talk to the phone and uh, but i never uh, really thought of it seriously it was just a 
thought in the back of my mind but then uh, when i came to college then i thought that okay i should start this but then there were uh, many things that uh, stopped me from beginning this like uh, I, i thought that i'm a little under confidence so after i become fully confident i'll give it a try later i thought that i'm not good at video editing i'm not good at uh, you know conveying things to people i'm not good at conversations i'm not good at public speaking when i thought that i should not start it then i i found hundred of reasons to substantiate my point but then one day i thought that no i should definitely give it a try still i was not that much confident i was not good at public speaking i was not good at editing i was not i was not good at conveying things to people but still i gave it a try and um, yeah it's aptly said that a pro is an amateur who just showed up every day so even today i'm trying to improve every day taking feedbacks and working on my shortcomings and i'm happy that i took this decision for myself and i don't have any regrets right now the next point is a man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than necessary so when uh, recently i'm reading a few books on stoicism uh, this quote was said by seneca one of the stoic philosophers sometimes what we do is um, when there are certain situations we think more about that we think the worst possible case scenario of that uh, particular situation and uh, we try imagining things what could go wrong and how it could go wrong it's not uh, bad to you know think ahead in time and take necessary precautions but what is bad is overthinking and suffering more than it's necessary when we think of the worst possible scenarios in our uh, mind we imagine that to actually happen when we imagine things we actually feel those emotions so when we imagine worst possible case scenarios we actually suffer more than it's necessary even quite beforehand so even before that thing happens we start suffering and uh, yeah it just disturbs our peace of uh, mind the next point is one day you will wake up and uh, there won't be any time for you to do the things that you've always wanted to do so do it now this one is one of my most favorite points until now again we have limited time and we have a lot of aspirations and we often tend to you know procrastinate things for the right moment we think that let's complete uh, our uh, education then we'll enjoy let's complete this then we'll enjoy and uh, yeah we don't know when we'll uh, when we lose our time when we lose the track of our time and ultimately um, then tomorrow when we have to enjoy never really comes so basically whatever you want to do just do it now because tomorrow is uncertain everyone must choose one of the two pains the pain of discipline or the pain of regret it is difficult to be disciplined it is difficult to work hard it is difficult to you know show up every day no matter what but what's more worse is the pain of regret it's true that um, you know being disciplined takes a lot of uh, determination and trust me the pain of regret is worse so what we can do is uh, take the little pain of discipline right now and uh, try to avoid the pain of regret the next one is stop pleasing people because even chocolate can't make everyone happy i came across this point in one of the instagram reels and it got me thinking for a while from my school days i've always been the person who thinks more about other people who thinks about uh, you know not um, uh, disappointing other people um, making uh, people around me happy and you know all these things but what's uh, what i fail to understand is if someone doesn't like you that's not your problem because everyone has their likes and dislikes even i may not like uh, certain qualities in some people and that's not their problem that's my problem that's my choice so nobody can make uh, everyone happy basically there is no point in stressing out uh, just in order to please others because um, you do what you do the next point is knowledge doesn't just mean formal education invest in skills and uh, i'm sure it will pay you the best interest nowadays there are a lot of new avenues there are a lot of new opportunities and uh, you know going to school going to college getting a degree a formal education is not everything Uh, learning a uh, certain skills and upgrading ourselves is the new normal we always need to be ready to learn new things and uh, 
basically update ourselves the thing is uh, formal education is common for everyone everyone learns from the same books everyone in your professional course learns the same things what matters is what extra you learn what are the other skills that you acquire during the same time period as others so that's what gives you an extra edge and differentiates you from others so the next one is if you are easily provoked then you are easily controlled restraint is power when we are having an argument it's easy to get provoked and lose our cool but uh, during those times we tend to uh, when we are angry we tend to make a lot of mistakes and we tend to regret it later on and when you are provoked it gives your, your opponent an extra point it uh, lets your opponent know your weak point and uh, you're basically easily controlled when you're angry for example if someone provokes you you get angry and then you tend to agree to everything you tend to accept uh, unrealistic challenges that your opponent faces you so it's totally unnecessary and um, try to avoid getting provoked as much as possible the next point is it's not mandatory to wake up early but what actually matters is how you spend the time you are awake during my school and college days i've always thought that uh, a good student is one who wakes up early who you know uh, sits and studies before others who you know even wakes up late into the night studying and during my pu days i actually did this i used to wake up early in the morning go to uh, study and then go to college come back then study late into the night compromise on my sleep and uh, sleep during the class hours and all that stuff but what actually matters is quality more than quantity the number of hours you actually invest in studying um, with full dedication with full focus is more more much more important than the number of hours that you study what i mean to say is if you are waking up early and then bumping into your book every now and then uh, dozing off it's of no use um, instead get up uh, take a good night sleep then get up and focus on doing effective study doing focused study the next point is a life never waits for anyone it keeps going on you need to go along or stay where you are there's no time for perfection and things like that in our everyday life what we need to do is uh, we need to go along and learn along progress is much much better than perfection look at failure as learning experiences not as embarrassments because there's a lot to learn uh, no one uh, learns everything at one go even while learning to walk we trip over we fall we get hurt then we get up and that's how we learn how to walk in a similar way when we are learning something or when we are on new journey we are bound to fail uh, and these failures are what act as a learning experiences and teaches many many new things and uh, in a way it's actually necessary to fail because one needs to know how it uh, feel means to fail i faced my first failure uh, when i didn't get an mbbs seat um and uh, until then uh, i was always uh, you know one of the topper students even in school and college and all of a sudden this was a little bit a big failure for me but i had anticipated it uh, much before the results so i had prepared myself for this but um, it taught me many good lessons and uh, yeah it, those were the lessons for life and i never regret it right now the next one is never take anything or anybody for granted because nobody knows when we are having our last conversation with someone or uh, when we are experiencing something for the very last time uh, this is my last year as a student life and uh, now i feel that i had taken my student life for granted uh, because uh, uh, from the next year i'll be like officially working as a doctor uh, even in my internship i would be a doctor then and i i would be having more responsibilities than i have right now but uh, now i am um, actually enjoying every each and every moment that i get as a as a student uh, along with my friends even when talking to someone we often take things for granted as i said uh, we don't understand the value of things when we have it so when we are talking to someone we always need to be considerate and we always need to be kind because we never know when we are having our last conversation the next point is assess yourself occasionally this is in terms of the goals that we set for ourselves we actually uh, 
take a step back when it comes to assessment and uh, knowing how where we stand in uh, the journey because we fear that we might not get the results that we want we might get the results that are not in our favor hence we you know um, completely restrained from actually assessing it but assessing and knowing where we are is very important because once you assess something once you can see something in front of your eyes then you can take a call steps accordingly um, and once you don't know something once you don't know where you stand it's very hard to actually set goals actually um, accomplish them basically until you can't measure it you can't achieve it the last point is we are responsible only for our efforts not for the outcome this is also one of the shlokas in bhagavad gita uh, it i don't know the exact shloka but it goes something like to karam kar phal ki chinta mat kar something like that and um, it's so true we often think of the results uh, not only think we are often obsessed with the results it's not bad to think about the results but it's definitely not good to be obsessed over the results what actually matters is the efforts you put in you may not get uh, instant gratification for your efforts but in the long term in the long run you will definitely get the results of whatever you deserve i strongly believe in this point that whatever efforts you put in sooner or later you will get the results for that so yeah what matters is your efforts not the instant results that you get this video is a little special because it took me over 6 months of scripting and editing um, actually compiling all the points and uh, finally being able to present it to you i actually used to jot down uh, points each and every time i came across a good thing i used to jot it down and you know um, it took me a lot of efforts so i hope it added some value to you um if it did don't forget to like and share it with anyone who may find it useful as well until next time take care